Hi friends, welcome back to the channel The World of Learners. Today we are going to learn about the design of rectangular sedimentation tank. Okay. So uh, here is a one problem which we have to solve. This problem is very important uh, in gate exam also. He might have asked many times. So let us see. design a rectangular sedimentation tank to treat 10 million liters per day of average demand the following assumptions can be made he has given the velocity of flow detention time and total depth of water okay let us first of all we have to find peak demand okay what is peak demand peak demand formula is average demand into peak factor peak factor will be totally constant okay average demand what is average demand is nothing but uh, the treatment he has given 10 million liters per day okay that is the average demand that is 10 okay peak factor is 1.8 total if we are multiplying 10 into 1.8 is 18 okay million liters per day is nothing but 18 into 10 to the power of 6 liters per day okay next point we have to so calculate quantity of water to be treated during detention time okay here what is the detain uh, quality of water to be treated during detention time is nothing but detention time is 2 okay quantity of water 18 into 10 to the power of 6 by 24 into 1000 why we are doing 24 into 1000 is nothing but per day we have 24 hours okay next to find out the volume we are taking 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liter okay for 1 liter 1 by 1000 that's the reason why we are taking 1000 here okay into 2 2 is nothing but detention time okay 2 hours next we have to calculate uh, length of time is velocity into detention time okay what is the velocity he has given 20 centimeter this 20 centimeter we have to convert into meters okay 20 centimeter means 0 0.2 meters okay detention time is 2 hours to why you are taking 60 is nothing but for 1 hour 1 hour equal to 60 minutes okay 0 0.2 into 2 into 60 is 24 meters next we have to calculate the area of cross section of tank okay area of cross section of tank is volume by length what is the volume we have got 1500 meter cube okay what is the length we have got 24 meters next here meter cube and meter meter will cancel and here meter next the value is 62.50 meter square okay next we have to find out the effective depth okay what is the effective depth total depth of tank is 4 meters okay free body is nothing but the space which is left at the top of the tank okay that is 0 0.5 meters you have to uh, difference this 4 meter minus 0 0.5 meter is 3.5 meter okay that is the effective depth like we have to calculate the width of the tank width of the tank formula is area of cross section by effective depth that is what is the area of cross section we have got 62.50 okay and effective depth is 3.5 meters we get the value of 18 meters okay next point is adding 20 percent of length for inlet and outlet connection okay overall length what is overall length is equal to 24 plus length we have got is 24 next 20 percent is 24 into 20 by 100 that is 4.8 this is the length 24 meters total 28.8 approximately 29 meters okay the overall dimensions of the tank are 29 meters in length and 18 meters in breadth or width okay and 4 meter is the depth i hope you people have liked this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you